guys. This is Rick with the Digital Divide. Um, today I've got something a little bit different. It's a game that's not actually a, a, a real retail release. This is a fan-made game. Uh, it's called Sonic Robo Blast 2. It is a 3D open source Sonic the Hedgehog fan game built using a modified version of the Doom engine, if you can believe that. Um, this intro is awesome, by the way. And this is made by amateurs. Look how great that water looks. You can see reflections coming off there. That's so impressive for, for a fan-made game. I've already beat the first level. We're going to jump into the second one here. And this... So this is a... As I stated before, this is using the Doom engine from <laughs> the early 90s. And you can see here that the uh, Sonic and the enemies and Tails, they're all two-dimensional sprites, but the world is rendered... Look at that water. That looks so cool. Uh, the world is rendered in 3D. And this verticality that you're seeing, this this up and down, was not possible on the Doom engine because it wasn't really a three-dimensional polygonal game. It, 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 was, it was basically trickery to make you think that you're in a three-dimensional world. So this, this, these kind of effects were not possible back in the day with the reflections and everything. Um, but man, I, I really, this is, I gotta say, this is like, it's not complete. There's, there's only a few levels that are actually finished. There's some assets that still need to be done, but this has been in the work for years, and I think it's super impressive. It's one of my favorite Sonic games ever made, and it's not even done yet, and it's not made by Sega, which is really weird. All right, look at this water. The water effects to me are so cool. Like, it's just, if <laughs> if you think about the technology that this is running on, yeah, that's the only reason I'm impressed, because otherwise this wouldn't be impressive, but man, for me personally, I, I, I played all those Doom games. I played Wolfenstein back in the day, and they were super simplistic, so to see something like this running on that engine is super impressive to me. And here's some power-ups. I'm gonna go bust these tanks up. Get out my way. All right, um, here's the springs. And one thing you'll, you'll notice here is that this game has a really solid sense of momentum. When you're running around, you actually build up a decent amount of speed, and, and it feels like there's weight behind his movements, and that's something that a lot of 3D Sonic games in the past have failed to do. Um, the first, I would say, successful 3D Sonic was Sonic Jam, which was essentially just a collection of, of 2D Sonic games with like a 3D overworld that was on the Sega Saturn. And at the time was super impressive. Like I played the shit out of that. Um, but honestly, this is way cooler. It controls better. I think it looks beautiful, even though it's like you know, it's it's low res. It's you know, pixelated. It's two dimensional sprite work for the most part. But I still I am super impressed. Oh, you got the water bubbles from the OG Genesis. Um, I just think this is beautiful looking, considering especially that this is made by like a handful of volunteers like throughout the years when they have spare time to work on it. It's, like I said, it's open source, so anyone can chip in for development on this. The code is, is out there for anyone to grab. Um, anyways, I, I, God, I wish they would have released this um, on the Sega Saturn. I wish that uh, Sega would have done something like this on the Saturn because... Back when the Saturn was in development, Sega was trying to capitalize on the success of the Genesis, and Sonic was their most popular character, but they could never quite figure out how to make Sonic work in a 3D space. They started development on a game called Sonic Extreme that never came out. It was supposed to be like the flagship Sonic game on Sega Saturn, but halfway through development they just canceled the game because it just it didn't feel like Sonic, and it wasn't really 2D, and it wasn't really 3D. If you know me, you know I love the Sega Saturn. It's my favorite video game console of all time, and my first video was a retrospective on the Sega Saturn. I, I think that if Sega had thought of doing something like this, um, capitalizing on the Saturn's strength, which is mostly 2D sprite work, and then adding 3D backgrounds, I think this would have been killer. Um, so it, it just would have been awesome. And basically, if you... Um, Play, well, I don't want to spoil it yet, but so the, I, did, I, w I haven't been entirely honest. This isn't completely a Sonic remake. It's kind of a split between Sonic the Hedgehog and the game Nights into Dreams, if you ever played that. Shit, I cannot catch this jump. I keep trying to. Let me try. Hold on. Let me. Uh, it's like the third time I've tried this. Hold on. Let me focus on doing this before I keep ranting. I will get this jump. Damn you. 
you just got to slow down a little bit. You, you got to make sure you don't jump on this fish. All right, here we go. Here we go. I got this. Damn it! I overshot it again. Hold on. Fucking get out of my way, tanks. All right. Let me just... I need to focus on this real quick. Hold on. Let me get that. Let me get it. Let me get it. Boom! Got it. Okay, so, um, moving on. Uh, this game is a love letter to Sonic fans. I guess fans of Sonic and Knights, like Sega in general. And you'll see on this next stage what I mean. The next stage is basically a recreation of Knights into Dreams, but using Sonic sprite work and characters. And it's so cool. Watch. Like, you see, I'm like, <laughs> you're like Super Sonic, but you're, this is like a Knights level that they made on their own using... The Doom Engine. Keep, again, keep in mind this is the Doom Engine, and it's and it's doing this, which is so cool because it's so like this is this blows my mind because it's so it feels exactly like Knights, and Knights was all polygonal. There weren't, I mean, there were 2D sprites like the fairies in the backgrounds and stuff were, were sprites, but most of the game was rendered with 3D geometry. The Doom Engine was never made to scale this way, so it just blows my mind. And I know I'm a tech nerd so most people don't give a shit about this kind of stuff but it's just it's so cool to me Knights is also one of my favorite games of all time so to have both saw 3d an awesome 3d sonic game and a recreation of Knights uh, fan made and it feels this perfect is so cool anyways I just wanted to kind of give you guys um, a view of this game and just tell people about it because it's been around for I'd say five, six years they've been working on this. It's it's a it's a love letter to Sega, basically, and specifically that 32-bit and late 16-bit era of Sega. Um, so this this is basically the game that Sega never made back in the day. Um, they tried to make a game called Sonic 3D Blast that came out on the Genesis and the Saturn, but that game was horrible. It was an isometric viewpoint it wasn't really 3d they called it sonic 3d blast but it wasn't 3d at all so i'm gonna scroll around these guys suck up these blue orbs i think once i reach the end of this level this is a bonus level um you'll see the first boss fight i just want to walk you through that and guys you can download this game it's completely free like i said it's open source i'll leave a link in the description below where you can download it this will run on just about any computer it's not demanding obviously so um, feel free to download it and check it out, man. These guys are really cool. I I really appreciate the work that they put into this, and it's it's a you know they're not they're not making any money off of this. This is just a passion project for them. So I just wanted to give them a shout out and let people know about this because honestly I didn't know about this until maybe a month ago. Uh, Digital, one of my favorite YouTube channels in the world, they're called Digital uh, Foundry. They uh, put out a video. They have this awesome series um, where they do like retro gaming and stuff and. Uh, they put out a video here um, basically highlighting this game and I checked it out and I was blown away man it's just this is like reminds me of my childhood so almost at the end here there we go I think I got one emerald you're supposed to get a few so totally failed there I think I was supposed to get three I only got one wasn't fast enough all right, guys, so you're going to see the boss. This is a boss fight here. It, this is the first boss fight. It's, like, really, really simple. You just have to avoid his lasers and jack him up a few times. I get impatient, so I just run straight at him. Yeah, I'm going to get hit a few times, but it doesn't matter. As long as I can recover at least one coin, I'll be good. Get the out of my face, bitch. There we go. Now he's smoking. Oh, shit. Okay. Almost there. I think I got one more hit. Damn it. Come on, dude. Oh, there we go. And you can see, you. this is just like the 16-bit game. You jump on the thing at the end and all those uh, robots turn back into animals. All right, guys. Uh... I'll show you like a few seconds of this level just just so you can see the variety. Like I think the music in this level is so cool, but this aesthetically this is just looks so much different from the last few levels and and this theme carries out throughout. It's just like the original Sega version. There's like a casino, there's there's like 
Green Hill Zone, there's this zone, there's a bunch of just very different looking um, levels and, and all the music is original composition. It's just super impressive to me that this is fan made. But yeah, that's that's gonna do it for me. Um, please give them a click, you know, maybe download the game, check it out.